if you ever want to put uh, background sounds or I guess some like ambient music into your Lumion scenes um, without using Premiere, that sort of thing. Uh, some of you may not know this, but there is actually functions built into Lumion to let you do this. Um, so if you want to stick around for this video, I'm going to go over a couple ways that you can bring um, little sound effects or just ambient um, sound into Lumion in general. I hope you enjoy the video. Right, so we can hop uh, right into the video here. This one is not gonna be like a really long video. In all honesty, there's not, um, there isn't too, too much to really go through with this. But as I mentioned, this is a really cool function that a lot of you may not know about um, because I, I don't even think I've used it um, that frequently in animation myself, like maybe a couple of times um, just because I do like using Premiere and things like that. But there is no denying that this is a pretty easy way of doing it. So um, what you wanna do is you wanna come right down here to sound and then hopefully this isn't too, too loud, but basically um, you get... Uh, you get all these options here. So this one is like locations, like there's like airport. Um, not sure why it would be like, well, I don't know why the airport would be like a particular um, area, I guess. So like, like I'm not really sure what makes this like an Australian airport, but regardless, it is an airport. You know, Junction, Pachinko, restaurant, that sort of thing. Um, and so, yeah, the nature one is the one I'm interested in for this though. So we're gonna take uh, forest and I'm gonna drop it in. Now, there are two things you're gonna to have to know with this. I guess, you know, besides volume, volume is pretty, pretty easy in itself. You just um, basically just adjust the volume to what you want. So I'll just probably keep that up there. Um, now, as you can see, when I go outside of this circle, the sound stops altogether. If I increase the max distance, now, anywhere as I go that's in here is going to, uh, it's going to let me hear this noise. The further away I get from the center, though, um, the more fall off it has. So, as you can see, if I start getting closer, I'll speed this up a little bit, then the sound does get louder with it being at its absolute loudest when you're inside of this circle. Um, so, the reason why there's then a minimum distance is that you can kind of increase how big that circle is. So basically, yeah, anything inside of here is completely, um, it's going to be like the, the full volume. Um, you may not be able to tell this if you're listening on a phone as well, but this will actually change depending on where the camera is. Like if I go um, over here, um, it'll sound different than if I kind of face towards it and like move around like this. So that is just something to kind of keep in mind like that. Um, but with this one, yeah, so we move this closer. Then basically the way that this will work is there's going to be really quick fall off so the sound is going to ramp up really really quickly like right here there is nothing i move forward a little bit now it's a full blast but if i move back more as i increase this distance it's going to get louder and this is dimmer because you're getting to the edge of the circle so that's something just to keep in mind like i said it's not really too too important kind of an easy one but yeah um you know you could have it so that it has like a lot of fall off like that or you can make it so that this will go just all the way to the end because if the min the minimum distance gets far enough, it starts to push the max distance and then that will just stay out there like that. But yeah, so that one you can play around with. Um, there are a lot of different, uh, different options, like I said, like you can have like rain heavy, um, you know, so if you're doing like a scene, maybe you're like in the house. Um, maybe I'll just do the movie here quickly. Um, just record a quick, uh, Something I was even thinking is like, you, know, you go in the house like this, um, just go like that, maybe add uh, precipitation, rain streaks, um, you know, play a little animation. You, know, you have the rain streaks in there, so it's, it's all stuff that you can do inside of Lumion, uh, and it is pretty easy. Um, now, this, so that's kind of dropping like an actual music or like, sound node um, but there is a way that you can just throw um, a custom uh, a custom sound into uh, just throw a custom sound in so I have a, a wave file here I think let me just find it quickly um, I got this from Ben sound um, I believe 
or maybe it was a uh, free sound. I'll put a link to, to where I got it below. Um, but those are basically where I get all of my sound effects or my, um, just my music for my videos. So it's really good. Um, and you also can't see this, but I just have it in my downloads here, but, uh, I will just open up, uh, the movie and I'm going to go to effects and then I'll go to objects. Now this is the sound, but you can't add it to the individual clips, which I don't completely understand. I kind of wish that wasn't the case because then that would let you do all your sort of like editing with music and stuff. Um, or at least change it in between, you know, clips. I think it'd be better like that, but you know, that's just kind of how it is. Uh, so we go to entire movie, uh, effects, sound, and then we're going to choose the file. I'm going to go downloads, and then I'm going to pick my forest here. Um, and so then you can preview it. So I think if you play it, yeah, so you can hit play preview and then you can kind of hear um, how it would sound. So, you know, it is pretty cool. Um, it might save you a little bit of time if it is just like just forest noises. Like for this one, this would probably be more than um, acceptable. Um, but yeah, so that um, that's more or less it. You know, you can uh, you can change like the, the sound effects. I don't completely understand like this part. Like I'm assuming the sound effects when it's saying that is like the actual sound nodes that are inside of Lumion. I actually couldn't figure out what this does. Um, you know, maybe there's like multiple, um, maybe you can do like multiple things with it. This was something that like, I, I'm actually kind of curious what you guys say, because I, I do not understand why there's an FX, or sorry, SFX uh, category with the music. Um, so I'm assuming, like I said, like one's like the, the sound node that I showed at the beginning. Um, but, uh, I really have no way of kind of confirming that. So if someone could, uh, I would really appreciate that. Um, hopefully you guys found this video kind of interesting. I did want to make this for a little while. Uh, it is sort of like a, I guess like a really random video. Um, but nonetheless, it is pretty cool. Uh, I kind of like, uh, you know, turning over some rocks on all these like little features that Lumion has because, um, you know, even though Lumion does have, um, you know, kind of like a finite amount of effects that you can do inside of it. Uh, I feel like a lot of people don't even know the majority of them. So, you know, just learning these little things like that can really, um, you know, it can just really add a lot to your scenes and you can like maybe save a little bit of time uh, because there's no sense bringing it into Premiere and then, you know, encoding it and fixing all that stuff up. When if you're just looking for a quick sound effect, you could do it all inside of Lumion. Um, if you did find this video interesting or helpful, I really appreciate it. If you could hit that like button uh, and maybe leave me a comment, it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm. And it would also just let me know that, you know, you're engaged uh, with the videos and you are really enjoying the content. Um, if you aren't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you could also hit that to subscribe button because I have some cool videos coming out this week uh, and I would uh, really like it if you were there uh, to see that. Uh, if you are subscribed, thanks again. Uh, I really appreciate all of the support and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great night.